Well, going back to what we've been covering for the state of Arkansas, three minutes of terror in Pike County, Arkansas, happened just days ago. There was an EF2 tornado that winds 135 miles per hour ripped through many towns like Kirby, Arkansas. It actually tossed a mobile home in Kirby, Arkansas, 100 feet away from its foundation. So the power of the wind, very substantial here. And I'm sure those three minutes probably felt like three hours for many residents. Well, this morning we are joined by the Lawson family, survivors of the Pike County tornado and residents of Kirby, Arkansas. It's such a blessing to see all three of your faces. I hope that you're doing okay this morning. Thank you for waking up. I, I can't even imagine being through what you went through. Can you describe a little bit about your experience? It, there's nothing really to describe. It was just so fast. I mean, we had no warning at all. And that's the tough thing is you guys truly felt caught off guard by what happened on the night of March 2nd. I mean, many of you were actually in bed from what I read. And I'm sure that must have been terrifying to be trying to, you know, settle your family down for the night and then you have a tornado rip through your home. Uh, um, well, I was still awake. My husband was in bed. And my daughter-in-law and her family was next door in their house. And I mean, it just hit so fast that, I mean, no I, there was no warning given at all. And I felt the shift in the house. And the next thing I know is I'm, I'm coming to, pushing everything off of me and I've got blood running all over me and I'm, I'm, I'm scared to death oh. for my family. Bless your Cheyenne's heart. mother was in the house with Charity in the living room. They both got furniture on top of them. And I just wish I could give all three of you a hug. I truly, I've never walked in your shoes and I can't even imagine having those moments. Uh, Ma'am, I know that you were injured. You were, you were mentioning your personal experience. Uh, have you been able to heal a little bit from some of those physical injuries? How are you feeling this morning? I feel okay. Um, hopefully I can get the staples out Friday. Mm -hmm. But I, I feel okay. Well, I'm glad to hear that. And of course, you know, this is a long journey to recovery, you know, getting yourself to a spot where we can fully recover. Because of course, it's, it's much more than the physical scars here. Now, now, you mentioned that you really felt caught off guard by this, that you weren't prepared. What do you think would have helped you in this situation? What do you need to have in place next time so you are prepared? <laughs> We're working on getting our storm cellar that's on the property in a suitable condition so that we can actually use it next time because this time it's uh, it was full of water because it wasn't properly sealed or anything. So hopefully next time we can get it to where we can use it this time. And that's a tough thing. I mean, these tornadoes came in also with an immense amount of rain. I mean, you guys had a very short window uh, afterwards that the heavy rain really set in. Looking at the forecast for this week, there is a lot of rain in the forecast. Um, I'm sure that's a lot to take on. What are you guys thinking about as we get closer to what's going to be happening tonight and tomorrow with heavy rain coming back in the forecast? Thankfully, no, no real tornado risk, but a flash flood risk. Uh, we've, we've got us a storage building to put the remaining furniture we have into. So, and we have a... We have a place to stay for now mm -hmm. until we can get the electricity back on our other house. And just, we thank God and, and, and everybody in the community for, for the help and the support. And here at Fox Weather, ma'am, we are very committed to weathering the storm with you and your community. We send you our best, and I'm so sorry that you guys went through this, but I want to thank you for being so courageous and honest with your story because it's moments like this that help out other families, and it means that there's going to be another family that's able to get through a similar situation, maybe with more information underneath their belt. So please know that your words have weight and they matter, and we appreciate you speaking with us this morning, and we'll continue to check in with you. I know it's a long road, and, and we're here for you guys and the Lawson family. Take care this morning. Thank you. Thank you.
I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.